dipping up in the air. Throwing money, 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 throwing money. I love you, back yard. He's checking to make sure that the ref's not an opponent, too. That referee looks like a criminal! I'm a criminal. Alright, we are at the commentary table for uh, Rising Above number 10. I'm joined by uh, of next of kin, CJ Price. What's going on? Former heavyweight champion, Rush. Oh, look at all these guys shaking hands. They got, you know, see, that's respect, J. Price. That's veteran respect. But that no one's got veteran respect, respect for Joey. Why would I have respect for nobody? That's great. Um, for the record, not to be a Nazi grammar, grammar Nazi, but uh, it's, it's nobody. 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 Joey's gonna die. Humberto's gonna kill you. Back you're gonna kill you! Oh shit! Into the ropes. And a punch to the head. And just remember that your next to kin guys are banned from ringside here. Why? Because oh, it's a on. fair, fatal four way. Say that's that to them. That fast. <laughs> that's not fair. We got three veterans going against one member from next to kin. Well, at some point they're gonna have to go for the title. Oh shit. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! That's the old proverbial way of beating some respect into him. <laughs> do it again! Anarchy, do it! Joey's about to cry. <laughs> do it! Bird does make it fun. Oh, Dad, he's killing that. <laughs> it is fun to see one of you next to King guys getting what's coming to you. Hey, hey. You're the one who booked this match. I think this is unfair. I think everything in my history of booking has been nothing but fair. In fact, it's, it's too fair. It's too legit to quit. I like different people's aspect on it. It started. Oh yeah. Now I'm sure in in our Aki or no, I'm black. The black dude outside. Of me. I don't even know. His name. <laughs> Backyard. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, my friend. Backyard is energy or practicing. While Humberto's just having a blast. A very rush-like fall away slam. Why do you claim that move? I'm the first one in WMWA that's ever done it. If you did your homework, and if you weren't in the third grade up when I did it, you would know. <laughs> and I miss White Thunder right now. This kid's got no respect sitting with me, CJ Price. I told you I don't have respect for anyone. Aaron, where you been at? Aaron, where you been? Yeah, he was my mom. He told it me is Mother's Day. 
Monkey flip! You know, back here in an interview having words after I made their hundredth the hundredth show match there in the casket match. Where someone will be buried alive. No way. No be buried alive. Make sure oh, you got shit. enough money for the lawyer. That's all I gotta say. Back here in Anarchy are going to town on, uh, on Joe. Oh, kick to the head. Poor Joe, he's just taking a beating. Alberto is taking a, a breather. Alberto defeated uh, Aaron or uh, Taylor Maine at the, uh, the last show. I think he gets ninth title defense. And how it would be at Rising Book 10, he gets his tenth title defense here. The backyard and Anarchy are having problems. Oh, and he threw his hat at him. Come on, Camo boy, do something. There he goes, Luthes Press. Double Luthes Press. Takedowns. Punches. I'm sure Humberto's glad that he didn't have to break up this little lions here. He let those two guys deal with it, and he can just beat on Joey. Backer's having like an utter blast outside. He's just having so much fun taking it to Anarchy. At the WWE Return Show in 2008, uh, Backyard and Anarchy did face each other in their first matches back against each other. They, I mean, they fought in 2004, they fought in the infamous East Hill Mall screw job in 2005. Huh. These guys have an utter history with each other, and it's only going to get taken to a new level at that 100 show. I really wonder who's going to win that match. Uh, I, I don't even know, man. I don't even want to speculate. I'm wondering about this match right here, because Joey's starting to take it back with Humberto. Joey had a great one-on-one -on -one match with Humberto two shows ago. And he dra drags him down, stomps to the gut, shoulders to the arm. Actually, knees, excuse me. Knees to the shoulder. And back here, and Anarchy are still going outside the ring over there. These guys are fighting outside, these guys are fighting inside, but you only can get a pinfall inside the ring. Inside the ring is the only way to do it. Well, it's starting to get personal with Backyard and uh, Anarchy there. Uh oh. There are really no DQ. Oh, is he going to uh, bury him now? Shovel. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh the nut plunge. Oh. He's not having babies anymore. We were gonna adopt anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Into a cover, Humberto trying to get that. What is that? Mean? Oh, don't worry about it. Yolo. Yolo. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Uh oh. Scoop slam, maybe. Yep. He's playing with him up there. Now he throws him over, over his shoulder. Uh oh, and Joey lands on his feet. Oh, and a clothesline. Even Joey's surprised that he got Humberto down. I like it when Joey's getting his ass kicked and he yells, fuck. It's funny. And he's raking his head against the uh, top rope. <laughs> Kick! That was a monster scissor kick into a cover. Joey, say it! Joey, say it! Fuck! Oh, yes! It wouldn't be a Joey Ranch match against with Humberto in it without that. And Eric is taking it. The fight. He's still got the fight outside. He's got a nice uh, chin lock there. First chin lock on backyard, representing the Southside players. Backer's fighting out of it, into his own stunner. <laughs> Whole lot of action going on right here in this four-way. Yeah, it's can't like, keep up. It's almost like two separate matches, though. Can't keep up with this action. Big nice. drop kick by Joey. Nice drop kick. The only member next to kid in this match. And Backer is making his way to the ring. Inerkey's uh, days outside. Well, I'm definitely going to give the advantage to my one of my teammates, Joey Rancid. Well, CJ Price, uh, at the Supercard, you'll be, you'll be going up against... Uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Big C in the Supreme Invitation. Oh, oh, that's gonna be a piece of cake. That's a oh, walk in the park. Choke uh, oh, slam! Alright, uh, that my moves are copyrighted, bitch! Is Becker the next world champ? Yeah. Nope. Humberto won't have any part of that. Has Becker ever won the world championship? Becker has won a lot of titles in his day, but never the heavyweight title. Uh oh. This ain't gonna be good. Oh. <laughs> Not the table! 
In fact, I was able to put the brakes on before he uh, destroyed about a thousand dollars in uh, merchandise. Yeah, we have very limited um, funds. Nobody in the eight man tag can go. What's next? Uh oh, this ain't gonna be good. Uh -oh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -oh. Hey guys. Not the tape, but you're man. Uh oh, this ain't gonna be good. The backer goes into the corner. Oh, that's just gross. That's a bird nest? Is that a bird nest? He's hardcore. <laughs> The fence, the turnbuckle, the bird's nest. We're missing the kitchen sink. DDT. The two-time hybrid champion, Joe Aranta, looking for the heavyweight title. He's pushing at it. He wants to be the first guy next to Ken to win a championship. Yes, he needs this win. We need this win. Backer's really laying it into anarchy right now. Big backdrop by uh, Humberto reversing out of Joey's move. Oh, I think he ripped his neck. Humberto's only got a two. Bagger and Anarchy really need to kind of calm their rivalry down here. Because, I mean, they're going to, at this rate, they're going to lose focus. Oh, damn. Power slam, Humberto. Only a two. Ted Reed takes. I asked you and then you didn't do so. That's bouncing. <laughs> You about to do a run in? Yeah, you know, the oh. 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 Man, bouncer, man. Oh. Got that ankle lock, a high ankle lock in there. He throws a bottle at him. <laughs> Only a two count. You don't get a Alberto's just uh, psyching himself up right now, trying to finish Joey off. Uh, stutter! That's it! Humberto has got his test title retained. Humberto's got 10 downs into that title and all 10 of them he's won. Unprecedented. 10 right there, baby. That's 10. Humberto knows what he accomplished. If I was in that match, I would have run against the heavyweight title for us.
you know, uh, I wrestled, wrestled Joey, and uh, well, quite frankly, though he is a youngin and is a tad bit green, still, he was good. So a round of applause for Joey. Ooh. Come on! Whoa. Oh, shut up. He's a pick. <laughs> but to the point. Uh, the last couple of years, I noticed that uh, my health has not been the greatest. Um, knee injuries, ankle injuries, shoulder injuries, sort of, last well, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I was asked recently by Rush, and Rush is going to give me crap, uh, you know, because he is the commissioner of the WMWA. Uh, he, he was trying to get me to sign an extension for another two years. I said no. I signed an extension till the middle of August. And that, uh, well, the middle of August, that, that barber. And then another thing came up, and that was the 100th show. I, I will sign an extension to the 100th show, but after that, Dave Dawson is no more. So, with that being, if I retire as hybrid champion, so be it. <laughs> but so goes the cliche, and we've heard a lot of it lately with WrestleMania and The Undertaker and End of an Era. It really is going to be an End of an Era again in the WMWA. Because, quite frankly, all the ones that were here in the past, uh, a lot of them aren't here. There's only a certain few the Rushes and the Big C's and the Backyards and the Anarchies. Those are the guys that the young people should look to in the future. And quite frankly, well, the future ain't too bright for those youngins. The Hunter's show, whatever happens, whoever I will face, be it a young guy or an old guy, Dave Dawson is going out on top. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.